uh, Annabelle came in and she's very, very sore and she can't walk and it happened all of a sudden and she's a young dog, aren't you Annabelle? Yeah, she's a good girl. And But you can see when I, she's very sore in her legs, when I bend her carpus, she's very, very, very hot and painful wrists. Um, things that can cause that are they can get bloodborne infections from ticks. Well, amazing, not amazing enough, but there is a tick and that she has, and we're not quite sure that that's what, what caused this but infection right away. We're going to do some testing, but you can get right up on here, and I'll show you the tick. It's embedded in the, in the skin, and that could have caused her to be sore. Now, the tick bite will transmit the organisms like rickettsia, ehrlichia, and Lyme's disease into the blood, which goes to the joints and make all the joints sore. When you pull a tick out, um, you can you can just get as close to the head as you can and put gentle pressure and work it, and it will generally come out. Um, this one is moving. I've got all the the head and everything with it. It came out real easy. Now you can see his little feet and everything now. So and the 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 area we'll put him right there. He fortunately he has to go. Uh, the wound will be stay raised and red for several weeks. Okay, so we're going to give uh, we're going to do some testing and then we're going to give Annabelle some uh, doxycycline, which is a tetracycline, which will treat the tick-related infections, and some prednisone, which will help the inf inf the inflammation of the joints. And we're going to see how she is on in a few days. Ticks can be very scary um, things, but actually, in my experience, dogs can get tick bites and not get diseases. Their immune systems take care of it, especially if they're healthy and eat the right things. So not all dogs will get these tick infections. It usually happens to dogs that have a poor immune system, um, young and old, and kind of hits and misses. Um, it's always a good idea to use uh, tick preventative if you're in an area with a lot of ticks and you can look that up online and consult your veterinarian for what tick prevention methods they use that seem to work in the area because not all work. Um, I sell different tick prevention things uh, like <coughs> Frontline and Advantix and Comfortis and Revolution and not all tick, all of them work for each dog that we put them on. Also some people want natural tick prevention methods so you can also use lavender and citrus sprays. The oils of those plant-based things can uh, often repel ticks. Anyway, check out my book, Dog Dish Diet, and my book ebook, Feed Your Pet to Avoid the Vet. People are using both those books to find out what makes their pets miserable and help them get better. Anyway, have a great day.